Okay, so uh, so we're back. We're gonna start. Uh, I went over everything. Kind of just uh, went over it real quick with the uh, the Scotch Bright pad. Just uh, just real lightly. I just wanted to make sure there was no no ticks and stuff. I got I got I got also got to mention something that um yeah you know, last time when I did the when I did the base I uh, I kind of made a mistake. I, uh, I what I was doing is I was spraying onto a piece of spraying onto a piece of cardboard, dabbing the um, the newspaper onto the cardboard, and then and then putting it onto the guitar. But what I discovered was that after a while, the different colors spraying on there, the cardboard was getting saturated, and when I when I dipped the newspaper on it, it was pulling pieces of the cardboard off. And when I put it on the guitar, I found that I had little bits of cardboard in my paint so that's why i said okay let's we got to find a better service so make sure that when you do this when you do this process that you do it um, in something that's not going to degrade something that's not going to uh, get saturated and come apart and and remember to rotate your uh, your balls and newspaper because if you do them too many times the newspaper will start to come apart as well and you don't want to leave pieces of paper stuck in your paint because then when you go to do your finish coat uh you got you got to sand some of that off a little bit you know, and then it just it just takes more to build up on it so so use a plastic tupperware okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and get started I, my paint i think my paint i'm just gonna start with the black we'll uh let's see if i can get a little better view here okay like so so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna spray into the black and, I, and this is going to be just a random pattern. Uh, I'm going to try and simulate maybe a marble look through the guitar in different, in different colors. Okay, so here we go. Remember to uh, to rotate the, the newspaper so the patterns don't all look the same. And you can like maybe crinkle over a little bit, put some more paint in there. I need my exhaust fan on. Ball it up a little differently. Come over here and touch up some of this stuff. Up. You want to make sure you don't have any swipe marks. You want to just dab. Make sure you're dabbing it. Be careful not to swipe because then it looks like you stroked it on there. So. The black. Okay, I'm going to get a different ball. That one's pretty much toast. Get a different paint ball. Some different random patterns for the back. That's going to be. And, and the tighter, tighter you tight, wide, then the, the, the tighter your pattern's going to be. That. 
can go over it darkened up a little bit. Again, if you if you do accidentally swipe it, just dab it a couple of times and take some of the swipe marks out of it. Black. See, I'm just kind of rotating the newspaper to get different prints, different imprints out of it. Doesn't take much in the in the in the tub either. Just just enough to get a, a coat on there, and then there we go. That's better. All right. So that's the black. So now I'm gonna throw some silver in there. Paint the whole bottom of the tub. Start putting some silver in it. And uh, the interesting thing about the silver is, uh, even though it kind of coats up pretty good, it uh, the stuff that you're, this paint that you're going to put over the top is, is transparent, and it, it does kind of tint the silver a little bit. But it flashes underneath it. You'll see in the light, it uh, it does flash the uh, the silver. It looks pretty cool. All right, I like to mix it in there, right in there with the black. You don't really have to hurry. The only reason I'm kind of doing this quickly is for the sake of the video. I mean, you don't have to do it. There's no, it's not like it's going to dry out on you, but I'm trying to save some time on the video. So you can get an idea of just randomly putting silver in, in different spots. And, and uh, I may come back and add more different color somewhere, but uh, right now this is looking pretty good. Silver. Silver there. I'm liking that. Not too much. Okay, now I'm going to switch tubs again. And I'm going to go with the purple. Now, what this does, even though it's transparent, when you put it down, if you it, the more you coat over it, the darker it gets. So we're going to do uh, we're going to do some random coats of the purple and add that in there. And then uh, when we coat over it, this will also darken up, but you'll still have the transparency of the purple on top. So it's going to be interesting. You can see it's starting to take a little bit of a cool shape here. And I like, to, and like I said, I use the, the black to kind of marbleize it a little bit. this up a little get some different random patterns here there. do some on the back like that but you can kind of see how it's going and I know some of this stuff is going to be covered up by um, by plates and pick guard and um, the pick guard and the, the back plate and stuff but it's all part of the random pattern Bit more purple. Change change the ball shape a little bit. Add some down in here. Purple hair. Don't forget down the on the ends. On the edges, it looks pretty cool, kind of rolling over the edges. Up here in the horn. Color up in there. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know. 
that looks pretty that looks pretty cool right now i don't know if you can see that or not but uh it's actually let me see if i can get the camera a little closer it actually looks pretty good there we go let me spin it over I think maybe a little more black on the back side maybe some black up in here and here but uh, you can always go back and touch it up as you go that's the beauty of it is i'm gonna go back i'm gonna add a little more black on the back there get another ball add some more black i like to get some more black right in here right there and it, and it helped it kind of helped it kind of makes it look cool too if you do cover up you do cover up some of the colors with other colors. Kind of looks pretty cool. There you go. Maybe some more, little bit more black right down in here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's done. I'm gonna let that set and then after a day or so, I'll come back, I'll hit it with the purple, I'll overcoat it. It'll have a nice purple hue to it, but the, the purple that's underneath it will be a lot darker. So you'll see the purple hue. And then also the silver, even though it's gonna have a hue over the top of it, as you turn it in the, in the light, it will flash underneath that purple because it's transparency. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna do the neck, uh, the headstock the same way. And, uh, I'll show you on the next one. I uh, hope this helps. I hope you guys give this a shot. It's not that hard to do. You just got to kind of dive in and say, okay, these are the colors I want. I think red would look good this, with this pattern. Um, uh, even, there's a lot of different transparent paints out there. There's, uh, there's, there's this stuff, Tamika Colors, that's a transparent. You can use all kinds of different colors. And I think even if you just uh, went with solid colors, you could do... Uh, you could do it, make it look marbleized or maybe uh, some gold and some uh, some gold black and purple would look good. Maybe with some gold hardware. This is going to have chrome hardware, so I want to stay with the silver uh, the silver look. But we'll see how it goes on the uh, on the overcoat. But pretty much, pretty much that's it. That's the pattern. Um, we'll see how it looks with the uh, with the overcoat. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.